Oh boy, this tank really is going to need some work today. Hey everyone, we're back here in front of Nano Corner again. Because as you saw in the beginning, the eight gallon tank behind me here is in, is in some desperate need of some help. There is algae all over the place in there. And uh, hopefully I'll get some of that taken care of in maintenance today. So stay tuned and we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, everything that's going on. So the algae on the glass is not a big deal. That is easy to remedy, easy to take care of. Not, not a problem. The big issue in here is all the staghorn algae I have going on. Uh, I have some, you can kind of see it through the glass. The glass is kind of filthy. Uh, it's on the driftwood. You can see it on the airline and the heater cable back there. And it's all on all of the plants, on the moss. And I don't even know if it's going to come up back here. It's very difficult to see it back there. But it, it's starting to choke up the pogo stamen erectus back there. It's still growing, but anything below the top is getting filled with algae. So I'm probably going to try to manually remove some of that and whatever I can't manually remove, I will clean up with some uh, hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so now that the glass is clean, you can see a little bit more of the algae that's uh, kind of infesting all of the plants. Uh, you see it on the leaves of the Altalanthera rayneki there. It is getting all into the Pogostamen helferi, and it's even taken over some of the moss here. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to trim up this moss here, shorten it down a bit, and hopefully get out the majority of the algae that's taken over that. And uh, as far as the other plants go, I'm going to try and uh, get some of it tangled up in the toothbrush that I've been using. And hopefully that'll get out a good bit of it. So quick note, the, uh, the staghorn algae was really, really clogging up these two pieces of uh, pogo stamen erectus, but luckily it was high enough and I decided to just go ahead and trim it out. And you can see it, there's so much on there. This actually looks like a, a tinseled Christmas tree. All right, guys, so the water level is now down. And since all the wood and all the algae that's on the wood is exposed now, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down with some hydrogen peroxide. And just as a little bit of disclaimer to anyone going to try this, start off with a little bit if you've never done this before and kind of work your way up from that. I would not suggest just going in full blast with it right off the bat because uh, you don't know exactly how your tank is going to react and uh, you do want to be cautious with it. You are essentially putting a chemical into your tank, um, but once hydrogen peroxide breaks down, it's just pretty much water and, and air. So it's safe for the fish after that. But it's that initial blast that you're just not sure on how it will affect your, you know, all the living things in the tank. So just be cautious. All right, so I'm just gonna go through, and give everything a nice spritz, especially that wood where I know the majority of the algae is present. And I will also get, if I can get a good spritz on it, some on the, what's hanging back there on the um, airline tube and the heater tube, just to make sure that that doesn't end up spreading as well. 
And the cool thing is you could actually hear the hydrogen peroxide working. So I'm going to stick the mic in the tank and uh, we'll see if we can catch it on, on camera too. All right, everyone. So I let the hydrogen peroxide sit for a few minutes, uh, let it really cook up on that algae and uh, I've gone ahead and filled up the tank. And now this is about 30, 40 minutes after refilling it. You can see there's a lot of extra bubbles in the tank and that's mainly because the hydrogen peroxide, once it breaks down, puts so much extra oxygen into the water uh, that you get a lot of um, post water change purling from the plants and even the, the algae as it's kind of bubbling away there. Uh, but as pretty soon you'll start seeing the algae turn a pinkish red. And that's usually, uh, usually what you'll see when you treat blackbeard algae or staghorn algae, um, which is what I have in this tank. Uh, so hopefully this treatment kind of got a good bulk of it. Um, I'm, I may just for a couple weeks up the water changes on this tank to maybe twice a week uh, just to get out the excess nutrients from the algae dying. Um, some of it will probably be eaten by the shrimp, but you know, too much decaying matter in the tank will just put me right back where I was. So I will be upping my water change schedule. And uh, hopefully this will give the plants an extra boost to beat off the algae and maybe I won't have to deal with it for much too longer. I don't usually mind, you know, some of the light green algae that you'll see on wood and, and, and hardscape. Um, I even like having like cladophora algae in the tank, uh, but this algae is essentially just kind of a nuisance algae that is over, overgrowing everything. Uh, so I want to get it out of there. All right guys, so with that, I will say that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you all on the next one.